हाई फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग बैक इन फ्लोरिडा राइट नाउ एंड केम बैक हियर टू अ वेरी प्लेजेंट सरप्राइज वी लेफ्ट फ्लोरिडा फॉर कोस्टारिका टू ईयर्स अगो एंड ऑल दो आई हैव बीन कमिंग फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम वंस एवरी मंथ बट आई नेवर स्टेट हियर बिकॉज आई जस्ट केम फॉर वर्क एंड वुड ट्रेवल फ्रॉम फ्लोरिडा टू अनादर स्टेट फॉर वर्क बट this time it seems like it's mango flowering season and i came back to such a pleasant surprise because all the trees are blooming right now and i never thought that without any fertilizer input without any care that the trees would be looking so healthy and so uh, so productive actually so all that soil work we did all the soil health we put our effort into actually is fruiting for us right now and it's such a such a satisfying feeling that uh, gives when you see all these trees flowering well not all the flowers will turn into fruits we know that and i keep on um, reading posts about friends who grow fruits right now who who grow mangoes that it's sometimes the whole tree is destroyed by powdery mildew all the flowers will turn into dust so they are very busy spraying with sulfur and also later with um, copper for the anthracnose for healthy fruit set well none of those um, i'll be doing because i don't have time and i have never done before and i have had very good fruit set in many of the trees like for example malika without doing anything gives wonderful amount of fruits for me and same with fruit punch same with fair child same with carry so there are some that are not as productive like coconut cream but coconut cream is because it's just that it doesn't flower much so i'll be taking you to a tour of what's flowering for us right now and i'll also be showing you some of the diseased plants because leaving them for 2 years and before leaving i had introduced what we call mbbs a deadly bacterial black spot disease and it was my fault i was getting budwood science from different places and obviously it's all over uh, in florida or south florida right now so i did get it from that and it spread to three or four different trees but my surprise two out of five or six trees i would say actually five trees were uh, affected and two or three out of them have recovered two are still kind of in a icu state <laughs> but i am sure because those other two or three recovered by themselves it's just that i trusted that their immunity was good enough and uh, just for the first two years it looked extremely poor third year last year actually the started to flower one started to flower uh, the carry tree and i think this year will be and i didn't really enjoy the fruit that much because i think the tree is still not fully back so but this year i'll be seeing how the fruits will taste like so come to a tour i'll be taking you to a tour to show what's flowering right now it's it looks like a jungle i don't even cut the grass or weeds around but i don't think the trees are minding it actually it seems like everyone is flourishing so let's go and see so the first tree is a sugar loaf tree you can see how healthy the tree is looking and lots of blooms as well this one is close to the river so i think get some nutrients from there and not all the flowers will turn into fruits with sugar loaf it's lots of male flowers first but it's exciting to see that the tree is so healthy and this one is orange sorbet so it has a story the tree was decimated with uh, mbbs the bacterial black spot disease and it came back and this is the first time this tree is actually flowering for us so it's very exciting and uh, also it looks pretty healthy now on to the right is our power horse mallika tree and it has always been disease free and has always looked very very nice 
it does skip a year so last year it wasn't flowering at all i think there was one or two flowers one or two mangoes but when it gives it gives a lot so this is the year of its flowering and i'm sure most of its flowers will turn into fruits another thing i wanted to show is this that we haven't cleared all the grass and all these things at the bottom so it's uh it's it's nice the all the weeds are helping the tree this one is an Indian cocktail tree, never flowered for five years. Ambika, Amrapali, and Langra together. And here we have Fairchild. Fairchild actually does same like Malika. It's extremely healthy tree, doesn't get disease, and also skips a year. When it flowers, it flowers a lot, fruits a lot, and when it doesn't, it doesn't fruit at all. So this is the year it's resting and I'll just let it rest. And on to the left, very close to Fairchild, I have coconut cream mango tree. Never flowered a lot for us. And I think that's been the experience for most of the other growers as well. But maybe the tree is doing what it wants to do. So I'll just let it be. This one here is a great recovery story. Julie was completely done three years ago all the branches looked like they were dying there was a lot of dieback the leaves looked like this all tree and then in the last two years it didn't just recover it's flowering as well so beautiful story of how if you just let the tree do its thing um it will come back and same with this lemon meringue tree this is the first year it's flowering it's been five years and it's flowering a lot the first three years it was struggling with micronutrient deficiencies but then it has come back and the leaves look healthier and it's flowering so i'll just let the tree do what it wants to do and this one is m4 it has every year it has flowered for us but this year it looks like lots of flowering and i don't know why i haven't spread any fertilizers there it's all weed you can see grass growing weed growing and just I think the tree has gotten all the nutrients that we've been spraying all this time into the soil it was also very very diseased you can still see some disease there but it recovered and this one is Neelam it flowers a little late for us this is mid-January so it hasn't flowered a lot but I'm hopeful that there will be lots lot more flowers coming soon um, tree has been healthy and this I think is the oldest of our trees all of our trees are around five to six years old not more than that this one is very happy looking tree this one is 015 and we have a big branch bifurcating which is fruit punch which is also flowering so it's one of our healthy trees that didn't get affected by the MBBS when other trees were getting sick and uh, you can see the leaves does do so nutrient deficiency but uh, in my experience they recover by themselves so it's flowering a lot very happy tree and excited that we'll have lots of fruit punch this one is valkyrie and valkyrie has fruited for us every year but this year it looks like more flowers than the other years and it's one of the early flowering ones and also you can see at the bottom we don't really trim or uh, kill the weeds or anything like that okay now is the example of the trees that are looking bad this is super julie last three years ago it started to do this so still i think it's in the process of recovery from here it might recover it might die i'm just seeing how it will go many friends have told that you have to remove all these diseased branches but i didn't do that with other three or four trees that completely recovered and are flowering so i'll just leave it be here you can see in the leaf that's how the mbbs looks like another one is a cac tree so cac is also doing the same it's close to super zuli actually you can see how the dieback happens in the branches and how the leaves are affected so we'll see how this tree will do in coming years Thank you guys for watching until the end. Don't forget to follow us for more videos and don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. It helps us tremendously and, and please share. Please share which trees are blooming in your garden right now.